Hello, my name is Nadia Dyson from Luxury Locations magazine, and today I'm in English Harbour with Aura, an amazing singer songwriter. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank you for having a meeting with us today. No problem, thanks for having me. So, we last interviewed you four years ago. Um, so, what's been happening? Um, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, since then, I've gotten an artist's name, which is Aura, um, and dyed my hair green. Which is awesome, I've by the way. I've been for three years now. Um, it's definitely part of, of what I do, too. And performed a lot more. I've done five opening act tours. Wow. Um, a couple headline shows, lots of festivals, um, a couple of campaigns with some brands like Super Dry. It's been a lot. You've been it's busy. Been a lot of cool stuff happening, which is, which is nice. So, yeah, I've really been loving it. I'd rather stay in So I wanted to talk to you about Panic Room, which is your amazing single that uh, has gone silver in the UK, um, number one in the dance charts in America. How is that? It's, it's crazy. It's, it's really crazy and really weird and I'm just really grateful that it's had the success it has. Like It's really strange, especially playing it live and having people recognize it and be like, oh my god, I love that song. And, um, I think I haven't even really like registered that it's like that people know it. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's really yeah. strange for me. Um, but yeah, it's been really cool. Well, it's like an anthem in Ibiza. Yeah. How is that? That's it's strange because I was actually born in Ibiza, so um, I went back there this year for the Radio One performance when I played Panic Room with Camel Fat, who yeah. are the DJs on the song. Um, and. It, it was so crazy, like like hearing people sing along so loudly, like, welcome to the panic room. I yeah. Like, I wrote this song like a year ago um, with me and my team, and we had no idea that it was going to turn into, into that. Like, it's, 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 it's an cool. anthem now. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, so what was your inspiration behind the song Panic Room? Um, it's actually really dark. Uh, I, at the time, was struggling with anxiety, and um, it's been part of my life, unfortunately, for past couple years and I I realized that there weren't a lot of songs that talked about anxiety although it's the main mental well the most common mental yeah. health issue that teens mm -hmm. have and actually everyone has yeah um, <laughs> and I, yeah I just thought I needed to talk about it in a song because I knew that people needed to hear it um, I think especially like when you're going throughout high school you experience a lot of struggles and growing up can be tough and that just you know makes your anxiety worse and yeah, that was my way of coping with it, was writing about it. And um, it's been really cool to hear that people have actually, like... They can relate really to related it and to stuff. It and really yeah. relate to it. And, um, and, I mean, the song, like, doesn't say, like, hey, this is how you overcome your anxiety. It's like, no. this is what it feels like. And if you know that this is what you feel like, then you know you're not alone. And other people feel like this, too. Welcome to the room, where all of your darkest fears are gone. So you said you write your own songs. So tell me about that process. Um, well, basically, yeah, I write my own songs. I have a team that I work with, and I've worked with them for the past two years. So all the music that I make is comes from a very tight-knit, consistent team um, where we basically come up with a concept from scratch, together in the room, do the production all together. It's like it's very, like a, I'd call it like a family songwriting process. Um, and I definitely, I write a lot too on my own and I come up with concepts and sometimes bring them into the room and say I want to talk about this and this and then we just write it. It's really, it's really cool and it's like therapy basically for me. Um, I love being very involved in, in everything that has to do with my career. Um, I write my own music video treatments, I co-direct them, um, I design my own merch. <laughs> like it's, I, yeah, I'm kind of a control freak so I really enjoy like being involved in, in everything. That's how it should be, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. But a lot of times it isn't. So it's good that you yeah. get to have your creativeness, you know, however you want it. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, and I'm really grateful that I've actually gotten the creative freedom and that they, yeah. they trust me because in the end, um, 
I am 16 and being young in the music industry can definitely be tough sometimes, especially with people respecting you and, and knowing that even though you're young, like you still have ideas and want to be like in the forefront of, of all the creative stuff. Yeah. Um, but I have a really great team around me who's like allowed me to really do that. Uh, so you've grown up in Antigua, and I hear now that you are a brand ambassador for Antigua. Yeah. How's that? It's it's really cool. It's an honor. Um, I've grown up here all my life, and it's really cool that now I'm getting ways to like actually um, share Antigua when I go on tour and like mention that I'm from here and be proud of it because I am. And um, now I really get the resources to do that, which is really cool. So. Amazing. So I hear you're going on tour soon. Yes, next week actually. Wow, and yeah. where, are you, where are you going to? Um, I'm going to the UK and Europe. So um, basically doing seven shows. We start in Germany and Frankfurt on the 18th of November. Okay. Um, and then we end, I think, 27th of November in Leeds. In Leeds. And this is your show? <laughs> uh, no, this is an opening act. Oh, and opening who are you opening show. for? I'm opening for this act called Eden. Okay. Who is really cool. I'm really excited to go on tour with them. Um, and basically the venues are probably the, no, actually they're the biggest venues that I've ever performed at. So they're all like 2,000 to 5,000 capacity. Wow, okay. Um, which is really cool. Performing at the O2 Academy in Brixton, which is like 5,600 people. Huge. Yep, it's, yep. <laughs> I'm really excited for it. Like, really, really excited. So, yeah. And do you know um, what songs are you going to be performing or you haven't yet decided? I'm definitely going to be performing Panic Room. I'm also going to be performing all the songs that um, I've released. So I came up with an EP actually, which is called X Games. So all the songs that are on that EP I'm going to be performing too. And then a couple unreleased tracks. Fabulous. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, I can't wait to hear them. Oh, I'm very, very excited. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming and talking to us today. Oh, thank you for having me. And I wish you well in your tour. And I hope that when you come back, you can come and see us again. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.